already fighting for their life, but some cancer patients say they're also fighting the state of Oregon. They're petitioning against a rule that limits Medicaid payments for those given less than two years to live. As Alyssa Harrington reports, a state board is now taking action. Why should an accountant be able to cheat me out of extra weeks with my months and months with my wife and kids. B.J. Kavner with Northwest Patient Education Network reads a note from a cancer survivor, just one of more than 200 who signed a petition against the state's Health Evidence Review Commission and a guideline that would have restricted treatment for Medicaid patients given two years or less to live. And this is why we need to be looking at each case on an individual basis and not a applying a blanket policy. Good morning. And Today, Kavner and other advocates attended a public meeting blasting the two-year rule, saying many cancer patients outlive their survival times. Some of those in terminal stages need help the most. It is particularly disturbing when those policies are targeted at the most vulnerable populations with individuals who often do not know the system and or how to advocate for themselves. The Affordable Care Act says coverage cannot discriminate against people based on their diagnosis or disability. We need to take into account the medical and social situation. At the meeting, Herc did reveal changes to the wording, which eliminates any sort of timeline. But there still are restrictions. The new guidelines would restrict care for advanced cancer patients. These are people who are so sick and weak that treatments like chemotherapy might do more harm than good. If they are so... Um, their, their organ systems are so fragile, they're getting so close to the end of life, um, they wouldn't be eligible for treatment aimed at curing their cancer. They would still be covered for treatments of pain and nausea, which include some radiation and surgeries. And the new guidelines require a patient and doctor conversation about their health and what can be done. Your outcome from cancer should be based on your genetics, your care, all of those things, but not who pays for your insurance. In Tualatin, I'm Alyssa Harrington, Coin 6 News.